Look at this very nice tool shop. Um, a lot of space, very nice storage conditions right here. Um, and we'll walk you along the, the manufacturing steps in the fabrication of the tool. So first, here is some of the, the blocks of steel, the raw materials. And this is, they, they cut it here. And then after that, they start to remove some of the, um, some of the metal and we'll go have a look at these first machining, machining steps over there. After the, the block of steel has been cut, um, it goes into machining to remove some of the metal. So these are the first processes here. Uh, just, you can quickly, without going into the details, um, a lot of specialized equipment here to go through the the different typical uh, processes again to, to make pulling. And after that, is uh, after all this initial machining, there are some other operations that require much more precision to do the finishing. And let's go have a look at that. After the initial machining that we saw over there, the molds come here for CNC machining. Uh, they are machined to a higher degree of accuracy and it starts to, um, to achieve the required profile. So here are some other CNC machines. This is lathe for uh, round shapes. Over there are some EDM, uh, EDM cutting machines with spark. Uh, maybe we can go have a, a look. This is required to achieve a very high level of accuracy. And we have some other more advanced uh, wire ADM machines that we're going to have a look at. For oh, very nice finishing with very high accuracy, very nice finishing. Um, this is one of the last steps. Um, this is wire cutting and you can see one, two, three, and two other machines up there at the back. Uh, very advanced equipment, uh, very nice, that uh, we only see in the best tool shops. And then finally, how to confirm that all the dimensions are as per the design, as per specification. And we have a CMM machine, uh, if you're not familiar, it's, it's an expensive piece of equipment and you can see it goes down and it touches in different dimensions. Um, this is really the way to confirm that the dimensions um, are all are as per, uh, as per the drawing. Very nice thing. Once the parts have been uh, verified to be dimensionally accurate, uh, there might still be some, some finishing required, some, some, some polishing like, like this that you can see here. And then it comes here for final assembly. And then once the tool has been fully assembled, then it goes for the trials. And the good thing about this company is that they have a plastic injection molding workshop right here. So it's very fast to do the, the trials. And if it's validated here, and they do the plastic uh, production, then they will not complain about the tool maker making some mistakes because it's all made under the same roof in the same company. After tooling is, is made and is um, confirmed dimensionally, they have to make some shots on machines. And this is just the building just next to the tool shop that we visited before. They have injection molding presses here from 40 tons to 450 tons. Um, a range of different, different machines. So, and they're really very much used to having their own customers come here and do validations of several hours um, as the final trial to confirm that everything runs fine and the mold is really validated. So um, it's very nice to have this together just next to the tool shop because they, the 
tuning is, is validated right here and they can really sign up on it. It's very, very good for approval.